The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart of the German DAX and the FTSE as they were very early in the morning. I know they sold off substantially, but whether they came back or not, I'm not sure. Our good friend, Mr. Alan Smith over the UK, always updates these for me uh, early in the morning. But uh, right before the show, I don't have an update. But given the fact that we are so very strong that would uh, be really uh, hard to believe that they would be down. But, hey, anything is believable these days. Folks, we had a real interesting situation here as we went uh, off the markets on Friday. I wanted to bring this up to you and explain to you. Uh, I sent a special video out on this over the weekend, actually on Sunday, to alert you to the fact here that we had this perfect ABCD pattern there at 44.40. Uh, in the uh, E-mini S&P, and we opened down about three points. The reason why I brought this up to the folks was the fact that if this were to fail, I mean, there would be nothing to keep it uh, from making new highs. As you can see, we've already done that. And the reasoning behind that was there was twofold. There were two things that were happening that I thought were very important from the market stand for uh, forces. One is we always watch Hong Kong because that's the gateway to China. And if you take a look here at the Hang Seng Index here on Friday, you'll see we had a really big break. We got down to 24,600, but the market rallied all the way back 250 points to close at 2.48, and last night uh, in uh, the UK, excuse me, in, in Hong Kong, when it opened, which was about, uh, I think, 8 o'clock New York, no, yeah, about 8 o'clock New York time, uh, the market opened 1% higher, I mean, just out of the blue, and of course, it had a strong rally after that, and that's what triggered the rally in the S&P, because we went from uh, uh, 44.40 all the way up to 44. Uh, 53 and stay there for a little bit and gee once it went above 44 43 you know or 45 anyway you knew that it was probably going up to make new highs and you can see the nasdaq has gone way past the 1.618 expansion of that shorter time frame that we were looking at so those are a few of the things now there's one other one that i thought was very very important and this was our uh trade of the day if you want to say that <laughs> anyway we sent this out uh, sunday to get ready for the bottom in crude oil look at the beautiful abcd here in crude now the crude oil could have failed just like the s p could have failed but you'll notice here it went right down to it folks it, it, it opened 10 cents lower than the low on uh on Friday, and it immediately rallied for four thousand five hundred dollars, and uh, that's it that took it three days to do that. The last time here, it did it in about it did it in about uh, six hours. So this is probably a significant bottom here in the crude oil. That was another reason why I was thinking we could probably get some more rally in here, and and the fact that we do have this uh, blue moon uh, situation, thanks to Mr. Presley, where we have two full moons in the month. Uh, of uh, the same month. That happens about every 18 months. By the way, our guests today will be none other than Tim Bost. Uh, Tim has uh, been giving us some really great information, and he's got a great course on those of you that are interested in uh, W.D. Gann. He'll be talking to us uh, about that uh, for the break. So there's a, uh, I mentioned in the newsletter and also in the um, videos that I sent out that we were at absolute major, major, major support in a couple of things that we were looking at uh, from a long-term stance and status. And one of them, of course, was uh, none other here than our good friend, Mr. December Corn, where we were talking here, the support here at 530. The low today, folks, was uh, 529 and a half. Uh, we're now trading eight cents higher on that. Not as good as the crude oil, but uh, still a big move to the other thing. In addition to that crude oil, folks, if you take a look at what was happening with the heating oil, which uh, you remember we've been we've been bearish this stuff for about a month, especially crude oil, from about the 77 level all the way down 
to the ABCD that we hit today, we're due for a, a tremendous rally. And if you look at this heating oil, just defy human nature, as Twentyman says, and do the work yourself. This is not a head and shoulders pattern. I keep this in there because people confuse what a real head and shoulders pattern is. It's only a head and shoulder. If that right shoulder, you'll see there on July the 28th, if that right shoulder is lower than it was back there on June the 10th, then it's a head and shoulder. If it's above it, you can't do it. That's the definition that Andrew Lowe gave it in his book, you know, The Evolution of Technical Analysis and also Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. So it has to be lower. The reason why I showed it is the fact that you do have some really nice uh, cyclical things, and basically that head and shoulder is a double top. It's not a head and shoulder, and that leads to here. Now, the BC, the AB leg, guess what? Down eight days in a row, the CD leg, Today was the eighth day, boom. What does it do? It rallies the six cents. So th those are just the technical factors that I was looking at today. There's still a lot of information going out on the news about inflation and deflation and all the other stuff. And of course, the Fed doing their virtual show from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, um, which is an absolute incredibly beautiful place, uh, will probably have some implications in the market, but everybody's already ex ex expecting them to act in the way that will keep the market very, very bullish. We, we're entering a time of one of the biggest anniversary dates of the market. That is August the 25th of 1987. That's when we had five planets lined up, uh, all in the sign of, uh, I believe it was Aquarius. No, it wasn't Aquarius, five. Cancer, all uh, in the sign of Cancer. And uh, that happened on the 25th. The market topped that day. Broke down for two weeks, then rallied up to a perfect 61% retracement on October 2nd. Went down to the close of October the 16th. Then we had the Friday and Saturday, the 17th and 18th. And October 19th, they wrote the history books with the Dow being down 16% uh, in one day over 500 points. Someday in in my lifetime, we'll probably see something like that again, but they better hurry. Let's take a look here at what a really cool chart was sent to us by our good friend Jim Bartolioni. Let me get this up here. He's one of the F-16 pilots at uh, – let's try that again, Larry. F-18 pilots, that's the Navy. You'll see here these are um, – this is palladium. It's used in a lot of electronics, but you'll notice here – the little boxes that he has marked there, it really shows that palladium and the New York Stock Exchange ind Index have a great deal of correlation. Maybe it's because of the products being made or whatever it happens to be, but it's interesting. I have never traded palladium. I uh, I don't know anything about it. I'm not even sure how to spell it. I put it in with uh, one L, and they got mad at me, so I put it in with two Ls. But um, that's uh, that's what he's seeing here. So and we, somewhere up in here, folks, <laughs> in my lifetime, and I think I'll leave at least another 15 years. The we're going to have a correction, if nothing else, and possibly, you know, a, a big top. But nobody, nobody. I, I warn everybody about it. I know the warnings go unheeded, so that's not a big deal, too. But listen, folks, when you see action like you're seeing today, when markets break through. The patterns that we look at, it's going higher. 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and we wanted to have a question, ask a question about Apple. I posted it up here, folks. This hourly chart, you can see we're forming an ABCD pattern as we speak up here at 150 bucks a share. The old high was 151 and change. You could easily make new highs, but that is a tradable pattern at that 150 level uh, in Apple. Now, I did want to bring to your attention Amazon because it's in the news. It's had a big move. It's up about 70, a little more than $70 right now, which it's been what we call uh, a tiny bit uh, oversold. You'll notice we went from uh, uh, 37.75 all the way down to uh, 31.75. Wow. Hard to believe it dropped 700 points. We're rallying back today. This is one of our strongest days we had since, uh, you know, early July. But that's just a short covering rally, folks. And you know, market has extremely been oversold, and so the shorts are covering in there. That that's a very negative chart. I don't know where Amazon's going long term, but uh, in the next few months, I think it's going to be uh, making new lows. But it's still uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, away from you know any type of sell place, but this was basically what happened. They they have some people short in the morning, and boom, away they run it to the downside. So let's uh, remind ourselves uh, that this can just be. I I don't trade a twenty uh, thirty three thousand dollar stock. I'm just bringing it to your attention to show you you know where we are. Now the other one that I wanted to bring to your attention to you here is the gold market because it has been extremely bullish ever since we made that big ABCD pattern on the downside at uh, 1675. Uh, the low was 1673.50. You notice here the same thing is in the S&P. We had a beautiful ABCD pattern on Friday. And what did we do? We came down just a little bit. We couldn't even make the support down there at 1760. We could only get down to about 1775 last night. And then from there, we went all the way up to 1808, which also means it was uh, more than the 78% retracement of the hive we made from from uh, July 28th. So all of that's telling you this gold is acting extremely bullish. We had the same thing happening in the silver market. And uh, silver, of course, was a little bit, let's get the, uh, holy cow. Uh, let's, uh, here, I've got it right here. <laughs> Hold on a second. 
Let me get this up here. You'll be able to see it. We This is a, the daily on the silver. We uh, talked about this in the uh, video that we sent out, uh, that it was ready to have a pretty good rally from this uh, 2297 level, and we've already been up to uh, uh, 2365 today. But that was a nice retracement. Uh, it was down uh, five days in a row. And uh, had it just completed the ABCD down there at 22.20, and uh, that was a good place uh, to go long. I know hap I happen to know some of you folks that were in it, and I, they asked me what to do next. And I said, well, first thing you should do is rely on your own judgment because that's the only thing you can gauge this on, folks. You can't listen. You can listen to what I say, but you have to do what you want to do. I'm just trying to give you some ideas in here of what we're looking at. Just when I looked at all those grain charts, you know, over the weekend, I said, boy, these really have a possibility here of coming into some major sport, and especially the corn, because now you're a farmer, you're basically free. If it goes black below that 530 level, you certainly don't want it, but at least it started in the right direction, and that's the whole key to uh, being successful in this business, is be concerned about your risk that you have on a trade, not about how much it's going to make, because if you concern yourself on what how much you're going to make, you're in big trouble. And the reason why is you don't know the future. Nobody knows the future. So you have to concentrate on what's happening now. And what happened, what's happening now is how much you got on the table. And that's what you've got to focus on. Just like in, 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 uh, in sports, you know, baseball teams that have great defense always have a chance to win. Same thing with football players, hockey players, soccer players, even tennis players that are hurting. What do they con concentrate on? They concentrate on defense. So that's um, something that you have to remember, you know, when you're trading. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. Remember Warren Buffett's two rules. Rule number one. Never lose money. Rule number two, don't break rule number one. So that's it. Of course, you have to put yourself at risk sometime, and that's where you become a trader, and you have to determine what that risk is, and then that'll make it you know, much easier on you, you know, to, be able to, uh, to be able to see that. So I think it's important. The other one that we were extremely interested in, and let's get this up here to talk to you about it, and that here was the euro. And if you have to, you're going to have to remember, those of you that belong to the 24-7 videos, I sent this out as early as I could Sunday because we had a possibility here of making a low down there at that 116.70 level. And the reasoning for that, folks, was because what was happening with the dollar index. The dollar index was telling us that there was a very strong probability that we had made a major ABCD pattern here. Now, I'm going to bring this up here. You have to follow through with me here. The A is down there on January the 5th. That's A. B is on March the 28th. C comes down into May the 25th. And D was Friday. And that is an absolute perfect ABCD pattern. Now, defy human nature, as Twentyman says, you'll be able to see that you go right up there to that 93.80 and bada bing, bada boom. That last little ABCD leg on the daily didn't make it. It said 93.90. This one went to 93.79, and that was the ABCD. Now, why that's important and why that is important is because of what's happening on the weekly chart of the of the uh, <laughs> of the oh of the dollar index and the reason why that's important folks is because that's a very very big one i need to show you that because i think if if the dollar is going to have any trouble and i think it's going to down the road you're going to be able to see why let's get this up here to to let you see here get to the weekly because this is a uh, to me this is the most important uh the mo most important chart that we have here these next few weeks here. We'll get this up here, and you'll be able to see the weekly, what we're looking at here. Okay, now, you have to look closely, but look at what's happening over the last 10 weeks. Just go up here and look. You'll see a beautiful ABCD pattern, as we just pointed out, right there, 93.79. Uh, and if you if you count the bars in your AB leg, and this is weeklies too, you're, you're going to see that we have a major, major 382 up there, and uh, that could be the kiss of death for the U.S. dollar. Because stop and think, folks, we have been, since the 25th of December, a little over a year ago, okay? Uh, let me see, 26th of December. No, that's about, that's about nine months, nine months, December. No, oh, wow, that's December 20th. Yeah, so we're, we're talking about, we've been in this thing here now for uh, quite some time, 
And so this is a perfect ABCD at a 382 retracement on the long-term weekly on the U.S. dollar. That means, if that's the case, it means that the U.S. The euro might be the one that's turning. And that's why we were saying, you know, pay attention to the long side of the euro because it looked like it had a chance to have a pretty good bottom. And, of course, you can see here from this chart today, this thing has been going up all morning long. And it, it continues to go higher. So we've gone from, well, we've rallied up about 80 pips already. So that's a, that's a pretty big move in the euro. And we think this could be the beginning of something. But those were the ones that we were alerting you to, uh, just looking at the two different patterns between what was happening with the uh, uh, dollar index and what was happening with the euro. It helped spot that out, just like looking at the. Stay tuned for Tim Boss, folks. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Tim Bost in the house. Tim, how are you doing? I'm doing very well this morning. How about you, sir? I'm very good. Uh, everybody in the room would like to congratulate you on the calls that you made a couple of weeks ago uh, because they were spot on that August 16th trade and the August uh, 
I forget what the other was, the 19th straight, all of those were just absolutely spot on. So we wanted to have you on again for two reasons. The main reason is, is that you're doing some really important educational uh, webinar coming up here on WDGAN. Do you want to tell the folks about this? I, I think it's important enough because I respected Gan as, uh, you know, a great technician that he was and quite famous. But tell the folks what you're going to be offering. Right. We've got a brand new uh, GAN class that's starting uh, tomorrow, in fact, on the 24th of uh, August. Uh, and we have done some GAN training programs in the past, uh, uh, done some writing on, on his uh, work, and continue to be amazed and fascinated with, with all of his methodologies. Uh, this is a, a, a little bit more advanced uh, program. We're going to be taking a look specifically at GAN's work with time and price, and then his uh, methodologies for combining the two, which, of course, is essential if we're going to be able to trade successfully, uh, and a specific look uh, at the uh, work with, uh, that Gann did with planetary price lines. It's the uh, astrological way of combining price and time that's an extraordinarily powerful tool. Uh, he made some notes on some of his trading charts and, and uh, put in a few uh, uh, scribbles here and there that indicated that's what he was doing, uh, but it's, uh, he, he never developed it uh, totally uh, during his lifetime, although we know that he uh, got the benefit from it. So we're focusing primarily on that. It's a, a six-week class. Uh, we are meeting weekly via webinar uh, each week and uh, are going to do a deep dive into that subject. And so we still have a, a few uh, slots open for uh, other students. We are uh, starting approximately 24 hours from right now. <laughs> so uh, okay. we do have a, a way of connecting there and get connected and let us know if you want to join the class. Okay, well, super folks, you folks know how to reach him, and we'll post that again today. But you've got a chart here that we have an interest in, and that is the one that you posted the last time you were on about August 19th. Now, uh, that was uh, Thursday, of course. Now, we've made a new high today. How, what's the, the first question that someone's asking is, what is the, the margin of error here? Because, you know, you're talking about something that is including weekends. How many days would this have to go uh, up before you consider it wrong, Tim. That's what I'd like to, the question is. <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, and, you know, when, when you start to factor in the weekends and whatnot, it, it does skew things a bit. Uh, and uh, typically we are doing our work using calendar days rather than trading days. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, you may want to use different parameters if you're uh, setting up short-term trades. Uh, but typically we use GAN's rule, which is uh, the rule of three. Uh, you'd look for three uh, uh, price bars uh, to confirm or deny uh, whatever it is that you're anticipating there. Uh, so that's the, 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 the fudge factor, if you will. Okay, okay, that, that's, that's pretty good. So it's, it's called the rule of three? Right. This is one of the techniques that GAN used. He said, look, if you if you, uh, see a, a signal in the markets that suggests you've got a, a change in trend, uh, then watch it for a while and make sure that you've got uh, three confirming uh, price bars there, whatever time frame you're trading, uh, before you make your move. Wow, I, that one I wasn't I wasn't aware of, and I did a lot of work. Of course, Twentyman did the major work on that stuff, so I have to I'd have right. to rely on him because yeah, the, the late Robert Krauss uh, worked on that, and and he uh, put a book together on that uh, specific methodology. So, okay, uh, Mister, we have a question for one of our listeners: Is what are the odds are that this is reversed? In other words, uh, the nineteenth is no longer functional. And that, uh, you know, the fact that you were lower last week and now you're higher this week, does that have any effect on it at all? Or is that rule of three? No, we're just saying basically three trading days past right. the 19th. Right. So that's 20th, 22nd, 23rd, wait, 23rd, 24th. Oh. So the 24th right. would be the last day then, right? So, that would be so the right, yeah, we, we're, we're looking for confirmation tomorrow uh, on, on this okay. to see if that actually holds there. Uh, but we okay. also have done some additional work here. We have uh, revised uh, and updated our cycle uh, projection. What we do is is combine uh, the various cycles that we're able to detect and, and try to create a synthesis of them to get an overall picture. Uh, so uh, what we just showed was the chart that we shared a couple of weeks ago. Uh, mm -hmm. And so we did a little bit of work here over the weekend to see if we could update uh, that process. And uh, this is what we're getting here. It's, it, the decline doesn't look quite as precipitous as we were seeing in that previous chart. But we've been able to extend this out through the end of this calendar year. So this uh, the black line is showing the S&P through the close on, on uh, Friday uh, uh, with the, the closing prices there in a line chart. The red line is our cycle projection, uh, and that extends through the end of 2021. Uh, 
2021 here, the end of December. Uh, so we can see that we're uh, looking at still a, a decline moving into uh, the, the next couple of months here uh, with a, a good potential for a rebound uh, you know, after uh, the, the end of October there. Uh, so that's that's the, the, the basic thing. Now, what we do then is go back and look at the inflection points in that cycle and see what's coming up astrologically. And so what we've been able then to do is combine this uh, is in an astro cycle uh, projection. And we've identified about a dozen different uh, events coming up that we think are going to be fairly significant uh, over the next few months in determining uh, this particular direction uh, with the markets. Uh, now, again, we don't try to trade uh, on this information alone, but we like to have this broader perspective. Again, one of W.D. Gann's uh, core principles uh, was the idea of using multiple time frames. He insisted that mm -hmm. you need to keep weekly charts and monthly charts as well as daily charts. And, of course, he was doing all that work by hand. It's a little easier to keep up with uh, on a computer here. So that's why we try to do these uh, cycle projections a few months out ahead. Uh, uh, so, you know, we've got the final four months of, of the year here uh, to give us an idea of what we're anticipating. It doesn't mean that the markets will adhere to this precisely, but we at least have to have an opinion <laughs> to know whether or not we're right. Well, uh, Tim, we have a question for one of our listeners, and you're showing this red cycle line. Uh, now, that the depth of that cycle line, that is related to timing. It's not, it's not the actual... Uh, price level that you're looking at. So basically, right. it means yeah, the time yeah. down. Exactly. So you, you'll notice here on, on the left side of this chart uh, that mm -hmm. our, our red cycle line is considerably b below the actual price levels of the S&P. Uh, so you, we're watching uh, the, uh, the twists and turns of the cycle line uh, indicative of potential shifts in, in market direction. This does not imp indicate the amplitude of the move uh, in any case. So uh, we're looking for the, for the general trend uh, dynamic here. Uh, oftentimes, the amplitude will surprise us. You know, we get a much bigger move than we anticipate or, or a much smaller one. And so uh, it, it, uh, it keeps us entertained anyway. <laughs> so, uh, well, you, you've been doing incredibly well with your prediction. So you just certainly deserve all the accolades that you get. Now, we have one other question, and that's one of our listeners is asking, is the red line that you're talking about with your astrocycles projections, is that any related to the Bradley model? Uh, no, this is uh, actually a, a derivation of composite cycles rather than the Bradley model. The Bradley model is a useful one, uh, and we uh, of often apply that as well. But what you're seeing here is not uh, the Bradley model. What the Bradley model does is take the astrological aspects uh, and uh, kind of tally them up there. Uh, Donald Bradley did that work back in the 1940s, and uh, it's, it's proven to be a, a useful tool, uh, but this is not derived from that. Okay, okay. Well, that's really good. Now, we're going to have to pay a, a um, bills here. Will you stay back with us a little bit and we'll talk about Absolutely. the blockchain, folks? Absolutely. We'll be right back with Tim Boss, folks, Financial Cycles Weekly. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Uh, Tim, we're going to talk a little bit about the blockchain or cryptocurrencies. Uh, I have some people say that the cryptocurrency is a misnomer, that it's really about a uh, technology known as blockchain. Do you follow any of that uh, fundamental stuff? Does it ring a bell to you at all? I've done some study in, in that uh, area, uh, Larry, and, and, and the blockchain uh, is the system by which uh, it, it validates the value of, of the cryptocurrency. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's an interesting kind of a concept uh, because – you know, with typically uh, we've got currencies that are pegged to gold or to silver or, or just with fiat currencies uh, based mm -hmm. on the on the good good faith that there's something actually out there that means something. <laughs> so uh, with uh, a Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that use the blockchain, what they're doing is essentially creating uh, a ledger. Uh, and that ledger is uh, re recording all of the transactions uh, that take place with that currency. And the ledger is then duplicated amongst uh, thousands of computer nodes around the world uh, that uh, all operate independently but are also uh, interconnected via the good old Internet. And so whenever there's a transaction, it has to be verified and cross-checked on all these multiple copies of the same ledger. Uh, and then once uh, everybody agrees that, yep, uh, this amount exchanged hands and it went from here to there, uh, then uh, that is added to the ledger or the chain uh, the, that adds another block uh, to the chain, hence blockchain. And so uh, oh. that that, uh, that verification process then amongst multiple people, you know, if you and I, uh, uh, you know, like the same kind of food or the same kind of movie, we can agree on that. Mm -hmm. But if 100 people all agree that it's a great movie, then it gets a high rating. And, and becomes a, a box office success. <laughs> you know, so wow. it's the same kind of thing. It's that group verification. That's what the blockchain is all about, and that's what makes this such an extraordinary concept uh, in the world of, of currencies in general. Wow, that's really cool. You knew more about it than I thought. Hey, this, and, but, and I think I keep, you're just keep learning stuff, is, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's anyway. absolutely for sure. Well, you mentioned uh, the last time we were on that if uh, the uh, Bitcoin could get about 42,500, that it was probably going to be off to the races, and we hit 50,000. So, we're, what are we looking at here now? We've gone above the Kronos line, so that that is relatively bullish, isn't it? 
Right, absolutely bullish. Uh, what we're looking at is that uh, darker line across the middle there. Uh, these are all eight harmonic projections of the Kronos line, but that one in the middle uh, is uh, is uh, the first harmonic one. Very, very important configuration, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that was at uh, 46,500. Uh, 144. And so when we broke past that 42 uh, level there, 42,044, uh, then uh, that was the next big target. Uh, and in terms of the most technical analysts that were following uh, Bitcoin, they were looking at 47,000 as a critical level of resistance. Uh, the Kronos line is a little, a little bit shy of that, but you know it's, it's close enough uh, at that uh, uh, le level of, uh, of 46,500 and change there. Uh, so we have now seen a definitive uh, breakthrough with that. This is adhered to the free trading day rule. And so uh, we now have, have uh, broken that level of resistance, which is very, very important uh, for Bitcoin. What that does wow. then is leave us this next uh, target at uh, uh, 51,044. Uh, the 50,000 mark has had a lot of psychological energy behind it as well. We did break uh, earlier, uh, uh, within the last 24 hours, it traded briefly above 50,000. I checked a little while ago, it was at 49,557. So it's still kind of fighting that resistance at 50,000. Uh, but uh, for me, that's kind of a side argument. <laughs> what, what I'm really watching for is that next uh, price level at uh, 5144 uh, there, 51,044. Okay, we have a question for one of our listeners. It's, it, and this is a personal question. Maybe you don't want to answer it, but how do, if you were, I'm, I imagine you're involved with this, do you go through a coin exchange or how do you go about buying uh, the cryptos that you're looking at, uh, Tim? Well, there are a variety of exchanges uh, to deal with. My favorite way of uh, accumulating cryptocurrencies is having uh, clients that pay me in, in Bitcoin. So uh, it's Get a, it's out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I do some consulting work and so forth. And so uh, I, I, some of my clients pay me in, in uh, fiat currency, some in crypto. And, and we have some uh, setups there that, uh, that do uh, split the difference. I get you know half the payment in, in U.S. dollars and half in Bitcoin. And, and I'm happy with that kind of arrangement. So it, it is a means of transaction. And the great thing about it is that it cuts out all the banking fees and credit card charges and all that mess along the way. So it's a much cleaner level of exchange, which is one of the reasons why I'm very bullish on it long term as well. Well, that's very cool. I didn't realize that. I should start doing that. But how do you break a penny in half? Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> uh, we have the one, uh, the other one that you have here. You're talking about this. Uh, you just brought the price up of where we were uh, today with Brit Bitcoin right now. Right now, uh, what do you have an ultimate uh, price objective on uh, on Bitcoin? Uh, say in the next five to six months, or at the end of the year, what do you think it? What could, well, what, what could I, yeah, I've still got my eyes on that hundred thousand dollar mark. Uh, I'm not you sure what? we'll hit it by the end of the year, <laughs> but uh, you know, we, we need to wor work through these increments here uh, and get past uh, <laughs> that. You know, we're just north of, of sixty thousand uh, at the high that was set a couple of months ago, and so that you know, we, we need to to break uh, previous uh, levels of resistance uh, in order to have a legitimate pr projection there. But uh, well, yeah, I, I think personally think it's worth more than that. Yeah. If we get yeah, about 65, 100 is not that far. That's for sure. Remember you know, that wow. we, were we were trading below 30. We were trading at 29,000 just one month ago on the 20th of July. So uh, wow. this thing can move pretty fast. So. And it has been for sure. Now, I would like to take a few more minutes here to talk a little bit about the class that you're having here. I'm going to put a listing up here. Um, are, are you? Uh, the question is: someone, Is he positive on? Are you positive on any of the other? Uh, uh, coins or tokens that uh, that are in the news? Do you just look at the Bitcoin or uh, do you use uh, any well, others? Larry, that, uh, I, I try to pay attention to what's going on and certainly uh, look at the news uh, uh, stories. Uh, but uh, a couple of factors. One, uh, 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 Ethereum I'm very interested in because it has a, a different kind of usage uh, and is, is fairly uh, well established. Uh, there are a number of others that are, are worth uh, taking a, a glance at. But most of my work, I'd say probably 95% of the work that I do in the crypto space is with Bitcoin, mainly because it's been around
around longer. We have a trading history that's well established. We can do the analysis and do the back testing there. Uh, if if a, a coin has just been around six months, something like that, it may be a lot of fun, very intriguing. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, but but I mean, doing the, the scientific work and the real study with it is is is, is difficult. Uh, there was a, a writer from the New York Times who started a new coin and was writing about it last week. Uh, he called it the uh, idiot coin, uh, and <laughs> he, he, he did it as a joke, just trying to figure out how you start one of these things, and now it's suddenly going up in value, and he's just totally aghast. If it makes money for him, he'll put, he'll donate it to charity, but he says, I, I tried to discourage people as much as possible. That's why I called it the idiot coin, <laughs> but wow. uh, people people won't listen. What can you say? <laughs> so, sure. Tim, I have one other request. On September 3rd, we have the giant anniversary date of the cra of the high of 1929. Would you be kind enough to be our guest on that day? Friday September the 3rd. 3rd. Yeah, we can make, make a Friday happen that, that week. Surely. Listen, thank you very much, and good luck with your GAN thing tomorrow. And may yes. God bless, and we'll see you on September the 3rd. Tim Boss, okay. folks, Financial Cycles Weekly. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks. We certainly want to thank our good friend Tim Boss for this great information that he's got for us. So we'll have him on on the September the 3rd, which is the anniversary of the high of 1929, long time ago. I posted a chart here of the Dow Jones E-mini. As you can see here, I believe we are approaching the uh, old high up here. Uh, I'm not sure. That could be at 35,605. So if the Dow gets up more than 600 in the next two days, it would make a new high at that ABCD pattern. Now, another one that we were paying close attention to along with the others, and we were talking about the fact that when we came in on Friday, you'll notice here that we were right here. I posted it. I should be able to see it. Uh, you'll, you'll see we were looking at the Dow E-mini on Sunday. And, of course, after the uh, Chinese market jumped up and Hong Kong market jumped up 1%, we shattered this. And this said the market was going to go a great deal higher, at least to 35,348. I don't know what the high has been so far in the Dow E-mini, e -mini, but that would have been the objective for the day. Can someone tell me what the high has been in the E-mini? Uh, S&P, uh, E-mini, uh, uh, Dow Jones so far today. I can't get a live one until uh, the, the, show, the show goes off the board. But it should be 35,000, I believe, 438 or something like that. So we'll pay close attention to that. Uh, by the way, on Wednesday, we're going to have uh, Stan Harley as our guest. And uh, I think he'll always have some great stuff that we've been been watching along and i've got a few new guests coming along the road i haven't uh you know f verified it yet we're also going to have jerome bresser back in the next uh, week or so he's got some other things that he would like to share 35 356 has been the high thank you very much Bo. so within 100 points of that uh pay pay close attention to that but we've shattered the nasdaq number we've shattered the s p number so we're probably uh going to be topping whether it's going to be today or tomorrow Let's pay attention because, uh, you know, he's had some good stuff. Tim has showed us, and we're right over this this uh, big blue moon or full moon as we, as we know it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.